Sheba Giez, Saba Arabic Sabah Saba South Arabian SB Hebrew Spawn Sabah was a South Arabian speaking kingdom whose location is unknown It is mentioned in the Hebrew Bible Old Testament and the Quran Sheba features in Jewish Muslim and Christian particularly Ethiopian Christian traditions It was the home of the biblical Queen of Sheba who is left unnamed in the Bible, but receives the names Makeda in Ethiopian and Bilki in Arabic tradition. The predominant scholarly view is that the biblical narrative about the Kingdom of Sheba was based on the ancient civilization of Saba in South Arabia, in contradiction to several local traditions from different countries. Israel Finkelstein and Neil Asher Silberman write that, "...the Sabaean Kingdom began to flourish only from the 8th century BCE onward." and that the story of Solomon and Sheba is an anachronistic 7th century set piece meant to legitimize the participation of Judah in the lucrative Arabian trade. The British Museum states that there is no archaeological evidence for such a queen but that the kingdom described as hers was Saba, the oldest and most important of the South Arabian kingdoms. Kenneth Kitchen dates the kingdom to between 1200 BCE until 275 CE with its capital, Marib. The kingdom fell after a long but sporadic civil war between several Yemenite dynasties claiming kingship, resulting in the rise of the late Himyarite kingdom. <inaudible> Biblical tradition The two names Sheba spelled in Hebrew with Shin and Seba spelled with Samek are mentioned several times in the Bible with different genealogy. For instance, in the generations of Noah Seba, along with Dedan, is listed as a descendant of Noah's son Ham as sons of Rama, son of Cush. Later on in the book of Genesis, Sheba and Dedan are listed as names of sons of Jokshan, son of Abraham. Another Sheba is listed in the Table of Nations as a son of Joktan, another descendant of Noah's son Shem. There are several possible reasons for this confusion. One theory is that the Sabaean established many colonies to control the trade routes and the variety of their caravan stations confused the ancient Israelites, as their ethnology was based on geographical and political grounds and not necessarily racial. Another theory suggests that the Sabaeans hailed from the southern Levant and established their kingdom on the ruins of the Minyans. It remains a theory however and cannot be confirmed. The most famous claim to fame for the biblical land of Sheba was the story of the Queen of Sheba, who traveled to Jerusalem to question King Solomon, arriving in a large caravan with precious stones, spices and gold 1 Kings chapter 10. The apocryphal Christian Arabic text Kitab al-Magal, Book of the Rolls, considered part of Clementine literature, and the Syriac Cave of Treasures, mention a tradition that after being founded by the children of Saba son of Joktan, there was a succession of sixty female rulers up until the time of Solomon. Josephus, in his Antiquities of the Jews, describes a place called Saba as a walled, royal city of Ethiopia that Cambyses II renamed as Meroe. He writes that, "...it was both encompassed by the Nile quite round, and the other rivers, Astapus and Astabarus." offering protection from both foreign armies and river floods. According to Josephus it was the conquering of Saba that brought great fame to a young Egyptian prince, simultaneously exposing his personal background as a slave child named Moses. <inaudible> <inaudible> Muslim tradition In the Quran, Sheba is mentioned in Surat and Naml in a section that speaks of the visit of the Queen of Sheba to Solomon. The Quran mentions this ancient community along with other communities that were destroyed by God. In the Quran, the story essentially follows the Bible and other Jewish sources. Solomon commanded the Queen of Sheba to come to him as a subject, whereupon she appeared before him in Naml, 30-31, 45. Before the Queen had arrived, Solomon had moved her throne to his place with the help of one of his men who had knowledge from the scripture Quran 27-40. She recognized the throne, which had been disguised, and finally accepted the faith of Solomon. Muslim commentators such as al-Tabari, al-Zamakshari, al-Baydawi supplement the story at various points. The queen's name is given as Bilki, probably derived from Greek Palakis or the Hebraized Pilegesh, concubine. According to some he then married the queen, while other traditions assert that he gave her in marriage to a tubba of Hamdan. 
According to the Islamic tradition as represented by al-Hamdani, the Queen of Sheba was the daughter of Ilshara Yadab, the Himyarite king of Najran. Although the Quran and its commentators have preserved the earliest literary reflection of the complete Bilqi legend, there is little doubt among scholars that the narrative is derived from a Jewish midrash. Bible stories of the Queen of Sheba and the ships of Ophir served as a basis for legends about the Israelites traveling in the Queen of Sheba's entourage when she returned to her country to bring up her child by Solomon. There is a Muslim tradition that the first Jews arrived in Yemen at the time of King Solomon, following the politico-economic alliance between him and the Queen of Sheba. However, that tradition is suspected to be an apologetic fabrication of Jews in Yemen later transferred to Islam. Just like many other traditions, Muslim scholars, including Ibn Kathir, related that the people of Sheba were Arabs from South Arabia. Topic: <laughs> Ethiopian and Yemenite tradition. In Ethiopian tradition, the Sheba Saba in Ethiopic who was Joktan's son is considered their primary ancestor, while Sabta and Sabteka, sons of Kush, are considered the ancestors of the Kushites. Traditional Yemenite genealogies also mention Saba, son of Katan, however, they claim Sabaean descent not from him, but from yet another Saba not mentioned in scripture who was said to be a grandson of Yarub and a great-grandson of Katan. In the medieval Ethiopian Kebra Nagast, Sheba was located in Ethiopia. Some scholars therefore point to a region in the northern Tigray region and Eritrea, which was once called Saba later called Meroe, as a possible link with the biblical Sheba. Donald N. Levine links Sheba with Shewa the province where modern Addis Ababa is located in Ethiopia. Topic. Speculation on location The location of the kingdom mentioned in the Bible was long disputed. Israel Finkelstein and Neil Asher Silberman suggest that the kingdom was located in southern Arabia, owing to the connection with the Queen of Sheba. The location has become closely linked with national prestige, and various royal houses claimed descent from the Queen of Sheba and Solomon. According to the medieval Ethiopian work Kebra Nagast, Sheba was located in Ethiopia. Ruins in many other countries, including Sudan, Egypt, Ethiopia and Iran have been credited as being Sheba, but with only minimal evidence. Even a massive earthen monument of the Yoruba people in Nigeria known as Sungbo's Aredo is held by Yoruba oral tradition to have been built in honor of the powerful aristocrat Oloi Bilikasu Sungbo, who is often said to have been Queen Bilki. Giovanni de Marignali states that before returning to Avignon from China, he visited Kingdom of Saba of Scriptures. The kingdom is located in the finest island of the world, and had innumerable elephants, which seems from various particulars to have been Java. The kingdom is led by a queen and the kingdom itself held the women in high esteem. The queen in Java around this era is Gitarja reign 1328-1350. Zheng He's translator Ma Huan in his book Yingya Shenlin 1433 said that the island of Java was called Shipo Shibo in the past. This is apparently true, because the annual news of Songshu and Liangshu referred Java as Shipo from the 5th century AD until gradually replaced by the word Zhao Hua, Chao Hua starting from the Yuan dynasty 1271-1368. Topic see also First Kings Habas Sabaeans Queen of Sheba List of rulers of Saba and Himyar Second Chronicles Kataban Old South Arabian, a language Ancient history of Yemen Topic References Topic Bibliography Alessandro de Maigret. Arabia Felix, translated Rebecca Thompson. London, Stacey International, 2002. ISBN 1-900988-07-0 Andre Korotayev. Ancient Yemen. Oxford, Oxford University Press, 1995. ISBN 0-19-922237-1. Andre Korotayev. Pre-Islamic Yemen. Wiesbaden, Harisovitz Verlag, 1996. ISBN 3-447-03679-6. Kenneth A. Kitchen, The World of Ancient Arabia Series. Documentation for Ancient Arabia. Part 1 Chronological Framework and Historical Sources. Liverpool 1994. Andre Korotayev. Pre-Islamic Yemen. Wiesbaden, Harisovitz Verlag, 1996, ISBN 3-447-03679-6. Walter W. Muller, Schizi der Geschichte Altsudarabians. In, Werner Dom, ed., Gemin. 
Penguin Verlag, Innsbruck, Umschau Verlag, Frankfurt am Main 1987 OCLC 1778-5905, South 50-56. Walter W. Muller, HRSG, Hermann von Wismann, Die Geschichte von Saba II. Das Grossreich der Sabaer bis zu seinem Ende im Frühen vor. J. H. V. C. H. R. equals Österreichische Akademie der Wissenschaften, Philosophische Historische Klass. Sitzungsbericht. Volume 402. Vienna, Verlag der Österreichischen Akademie der Wissenschaften, 1982, ISBN 3 7001 0516 9. Yaroslav Kak, Saba 1. In, Pauli's Realencyclopädie der Klassischen Alterdomswissenschaft Re. Band IA, 2, Stuttgart, 1920, pp. 1298-1511. Hermann von Wismann, Zur Geschichte und Landeskunde von alt Süderabien Samling Eduard Glaser. N.R. 3 equals Österreichische Akademie der Wissenschaften, Philosophische Historische Klasse, Sitzungsbericht. Band 246. Vienna, Boleus, 1964. Hermann von Wismann, Die Geschichte des Saberreiches und der Feldzig des Aelius Gallus. In, Hildegard Temperini, Aufstieg und Niedergang der Ramischen Welt. 2. Principat. 9th volume, 1st half volume. De Gruyter, Berlin, New York 1976, ISBN 3-11-006876-1, p. 308 Peach, Dana, Peter Kuhn, Thomas Scholten, Ueli Brunner, Holger Hitgen, and Iris Gerlach. Holocene Soils and Sediments Around Marib Oasis, Yemen, Further Sabaean Treasures, The Holocene 20.5 785-99. Print. Saba, Encyclopædia Britannica, 2013. Web, 27 September 2013. Topic external links Queen of Sheba mystifies at the Bowers You see Irvine News article on Queen of Sheba exhibit at the Bowers Museum Adam at Marib from the Saudi Aramco World Online, March, April 1978 Queen of Sheba Temple Restored 2000, BBC William Leo Hansberry, E. Harper Johnson, Africa's Golden Past, Queen of Sheba's True Identity Confounds Historical Research, Ebony, April 1965, p. 136, thorough discussion of previous scholars associating Biblical Sheba with Ethiopia.